Hello and welcome back to Plumeria Plays or welcome if you're new here. So today I was taking a little scroll on Instagram when I came across a post from the Sims community talking about how the Blooming Rooms kit is now free. Here is their blog post on the Sims community website. So the Blooming Rooms kit is now free on PC and Mac. It's not free on console. So unfortunately you can't get it if you play on console, but if you play on console and you have access to a computer or something that you can buy it on, even if you don't regularly play The Sims on a computer, once you purchase it, it's yours. So if you ever decide to play on PC instead of on console, you'll at least have it there. So let's get into it. So at this time, we're really not sure how long this kit's gonna be free. So as soon as you see this video, go and grab it. But right now on the EA app, it is completely free. You just buy it like you would buy any kit, except this one's gonna cost you $0 and then it's yours. It's in your game, you'll never have to pay for it. So I was thinking in honor of this kit being free today, let's build a tiny home using only base game and the Blooming Rooms kit. And we are gonna try to use all of the Blooming Rooms items in a micro home. Might be a bit of a squeeze, but we can give it a shot. Before we start building, here's just like kind of a quick look at all of the items that come with the kit. They have a lot of different stuff. It's all very plant-based, of course. And while you can't do a full build with these items, they are excellent for decoration. They have everything from like the hanging plants to smaller plants to bigger floor plants. They even have like these large shelves. And this is even a little hanging light, which I think is so cute, as well as little tables and plant stands. And then this is just a shelf. I wish this was a flower arranging table, but it is just a kit, so it's not. It's just a plain shelf. Oh, and really quickly, this is the styled room that comes with the kit. And I actually think this is really cute for a patio area. Look at how cute that is. Absolutely love. This is actually one of my favorite kits, but I love to add like plant decorations and stuff in my build. So this is a great kit to do it with. But all that being said, let's build ourselves a little tiny home. Okay, we're trying to squeeze this all into a micro home, which is only 32 tiles. So just for a little perspective, this is 32 tiles. So it's not a whole lot to work with. I don't know exactly what kind of shape I wanna go with. I'm kind of thinking we'll stick with the general box theme. Maybe we'll just move this entry space over a little bit. So I'm gonna just kind of scooch it over to the edge. So this is the box that we have to work with. I'm gonna just pull up a little roof on it. This part is pretty simple just because it's so, so small. I am thinking this is the roof we're gonna go with and then we're just using base game, so I'm gonna grab the standard things for the exterior, cause that's not really what we're working on here. We wanna be inside. <laughs> I'm just plopping some windows down. Chances are pretty good we'll have to move them once we actually get into the building. But for now, they'll be there for us. And since we're going plant theme, I think we're gonna make a very green theme house. Ooh, we could do green stone. That's a choice, maybe a bad choice. <laughs> I feel like I use the base game green siding kind of a lot though. And it doesn't have to be green, I don't guess. Oh, maybe like this light green. That's kind of cute. Let's go with the light green. I think that looks nice with the white. And then I think we'll grab this roof in the darker swatch maybe. No, <laughs> maybe the gray swatch. Is that too light? I think light and bright is kind of fun for this. And then I really want to get some planter boxes. We need another color to work with. I kind of like the idea of pink, but this is a brighter pink. I was thinking like a baby pink, but I don't think that's an option. So maybe yellow's better. I think yellow's better. And that's kind of a good start for the plant vision. <laughs> I'm also grabbing these pavers from Debug and we're just gonna size them up and make a nice little walkway to the door. I think that looks nice. And then for plants, I think we're gonna go with a bit of a wild landscaping. Just grabbing these low-lying yellow flowers and placing them around the front. Okay, change of plans. Why don't we actually use these pink flowers and then we can change this box to be just white flowers. Just in my head, it was gonna be pink. 
And then we can pair it with this lovely little pink bush. I think that is quite cute. Now let's head inside because that's actually where we want to be. The layout, if you can even call it that, is gonna be all open concept. We're gonna just stick our bathroom over here in the corner and then make a bit of an open concept space in the rest of the house. And we are trying to fit as much from the blooming rooms kit as humanly possible. So we gotta keep that at the forefront of our mind. Maybe we should actually set out all the items. That way we can grab them and put them in when the time comes. My goal is to get all of these items in here. I think it's possible. And if we need to put some outside, we could work it into the landscaping if we needed to. That might be an option. Now the bigger shelves are where we're gonna have trouble because that takes up the whole house. But maybe, maybe we do that because we could just delete this window and actually put this item right here. Give it a real indoor outdoor feel. <laughs> Let's start by laying out some floors. I really want to do just this one, although I don't like that color. Maybe the lighter version. I think that's cute. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the walls. I think and we'll start with this minty green and just see where that takes us. For a kitchen, I'm thinking we'll just go with these little base game counters. Maybe we can put like a half wall behind the counters to cut it out a little bit better. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then it makes it like a feature wall. We'll just grab some middle of the line appliances and we won't really be able to decorate the counters because this needs to be open for your Sims to cook, but we can put plants back here. So I think that's okay. Grabbing from our blooming rooms kit, I think this little spot by the fridge is a perfect spot for this plant. And this is my favorite plant in the whole game. Plus it comes in so many different swatches. Let's maybe grab this one with the pink in it just to get a little bit more of a different color other than green. I'm missing the plant light. I thought I put it out here, but I don't see it. So let's put this light here. Oh, it comes in a bunch of different colors too. And then right here, we'll just get a little dining table. We're gonna size that light down one. It was just touching the table and I need to be able to put a plant on that table. Oh, this one will be perfect. Let's let this one have the pink swatch and we'll put this one to just be an all green swatch. I like that color. Oh, I did not even notice the wallpaper that I grabbed has a plant print on there. Maybe you can't see it with my, there you go. You can see it better. That's perfect. So we'll definitely keep that wallpaper. I think we can squeeze a bed in right here and I'm thinking we have to go with this base game one that has the plants on it. Although that blue color is not one that we've really used yet. They have an all green swatch. So do I sacrifice and use the blue or do we go all green? Let's look and see what green beds that they have. Oh, oh, look, I didn't even know that was there, okay. Never mind. not even a question. This is obviously <laughs> the bed choice. Getting that nightstand and then let's grab this little plant for the nightstand. And we could actually put a couple of plants on the nightstand and I'm thinking we'll get the cute little pig because that'll add some of the pink back in, which will be nice. Maybe we put this one here and then we can hang this one right over there or we could hang this one outside. I think it would look quite cute right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, how silly me. We don't need this nightstand. We need the Blooming Rooms nightstand. I'm gonna just grab it in the white swatch. How cute is that? Okay, and then we'll put our little pig back. I'm thinking by the entryway, we'll scoot this plant in right here. Quite like that color. I feel like this one definitely is gonna have to go outside somewhere. Maybe we scooch it in right here. And I think this one, it's got those cute pink flowers. So let's put it on either side of the door. We've got a couple plants over here. I'm gonna leave the rest of this open just to let these other plants shine through a little bit. We added this right here. And then I'm thinking let's get a trash can underneath that because I have not put a trash can in here yet. We will grab this and put it over here at the end of the bed. I think that's quite cute. And I think we can also kind of squeeze this one over in the corner too. Maybe not though. Oh, you know what? This is a bad idea. We need to get the stand. I am being silly. Okay, we need this little stand. How about we put this right by the fridge. We'll scoot this hanging plant over just a little bit and we'll move these plants onto the stand. Perfect. Then we can grab these as well. 
This pack also comes with this hanging shelf. So I'm thinking we get rid of this window and then we'll put this here instead. I like that color. Okay, what are we missing? We're missing this. They don't have a room for any other clutter, just plants. <laughs> we don't have this. We don't have this and we don't have this. But maybe we can build them out a nice little outdoor space and put these items. Oh, and we don't have this, but this will be very easy to place. We'll put it in the bathroom. I'll just size it down a couple times. We can honestly put this on all the windows that we have available. Is it overkill? Most definitely. Do I care? Most definitely not. Oh, and we're missing this. Oh, that is huge. <laughs> oh no. It will fit over here. It's just a lot. We can maybe move this hanging plant to be right by the door. I don't hate that option. I think I quite like that. So that's everything but these items. I think for the bathroom, we just go for it. Is this tile ugly technically? Like sure, <laughs> but it's fun. And we can just do a white tile on the ground to keep it from being too much. I mean, it's probably already too much. But that's neither here nor there. We'll grab this little wall of plants and put that there. And I'm gonna change this color. The original swatch still too blue to me. That glass is very blue. I like that one. And then since this is just a three tile wide bathroom, there will not be a sink in here. All we can fit in is a toilet and a shower. And honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be decorating much other than that. It just doesn't seem like enough space to worry about it. But there you go, you've got some toilet paper. I think maybe we should turn the dining room table this way. Yeah, that feels better because this is just starting to be a little routed over here. I can't quite figure out. I think it's this big leaf off to the side. That, yeah, that's what it is. So if we maybe put the big leaf against the wall, then it won't feel so crowded. And then we can put it back. Okay, perfect. So we've got our little plant corner over there. We've got a dining room. I can put your Sims, just a little TV on this wall. <laughs> so there's some entertainment for your Sims. Is it an odd place to put it? Absolutely. But I mean, look at how big this place is. It's quite small. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is make them a cute little side yard and use these items outside. We're going to start by grabbing this fence in white. Oh, maybe we get the hedge. Oh, maybe we do a hedge fence. We definitely do a hedge fence. <laughs> that feels better. And then we are going to just kind of place these items. I wish we could have fit this table inside somewhere, but it just wasn't in the cards. But we can use it now as like an outdoor plant holder table. And then let's kind of find some gardening stuff. So we just got some of the gardening stuff on here with some seeds. And then on this shelf, I think we're gonna just put a bunch of the plants over again. There's so many different swatches that I feel like you can put these absolutely everywhere and they still feel like not the same plant over and over again. So out here in this little corner, we just have a gardening nook. So we've got our gardening stuff over here on this table with a few seeds. And then we just put all the Blooming Rooms plants on the shelf. And then over here, we kind of just added more plants as well as a bunch of garden pots. So now all I really have left to do is add some terrain paint and maybe a few trees around. And I think that will be the build done. And I think we successfully used all of the Blooming Room Kit items, which is absolutely shocking that we managed to fit all of that in 32 tiles plus some outdoor space. So I'm just taking this dark terrain paint and putting it under my stones and under all of our plants outside. And I'm also adding it underneath the outside of our house just to give the house a little bit of dimension. I'm also just doing like quick little dabs under all of our garden planters just to give them a little dimension as well. And our little hedge fence. Then I'm gonna just grab this pebble stone path and we're just gonna snake it through to our garden area. And then I think I'm gonna just run it right through the garden area. Oh, and maybe tell you what, actually, that'd be cute. So we'll run it through the garden area and then over here we'll have like a big patch of it and then we can put a little outdoor table, maybe a grill outside. So just grab this little grill over here and I'm thinking just this table with the umbrella. Do they have a pink umbrella? 
Oh, they do. They have pink stripes. So we'll put that one out here. But let's actually do this grill instead. I feel like it fits the vibe better. It kind of has those plants wrapping around the top. And then just to fill out the lot, we'll find a really big tree to put over in this corner. All right, we just peppered a few little trees around and about and I also added these bushes up here in the front just to fill out the space a little bit more. And that is gonna be our build completely finished. So for a quick little tour of the build, it's quite simple, only 32 tiles and it is a micro home. Right when you walk in, you're met with just a few little plants as well as a welcome mat and then a dining room table right there in the middle. Then we've got a small kitchen tucked in the corner in our bedroom area over here. And then our little three tile bathroom right there. Going outside, we have our cute little garden nook that has our planters and a bunch of all the blooming room flowers. And then a little further back, we've got a cute little seating area and grill surrounded by some larger trees. But that is our build done. I think it turned out great. I'm so shocked we managed to fit all of the blooming room kit items in this house or around this house maybe i should say make sure if you don't already have it to go grab that blooming rooms kit for free while it's still free we don't know how long it's gonna be free so definitely grab it as soon as you are back to your computer set a reminder right now if you're not home and let me know what you think if i missed any of the blooming room items let me know i think i got them all though and i will see you guys in the next one bye